Hi guys, it's Sam. So today I am on a mission to figure out why my skin was not oily yesterday. I did a TikTok testing out a new foundation yesterday, but I also tried a new, uh, new primer and a new powder. And literally I had no oil yesterday. I was the least oily person. Like it was so insane. I've never been that non-oily, I think ever in my life. So I've got all these people asking like, was it the primer? Was it better than the one you normally use? Was it, I don't even know. I don't know if it was the whole combo. I don't know if it was the foundation. I don't know if it was the primer. I don't know if it was the powder. So today I was like, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out that primer because I have a feeling it was the primer. I'm going to test out the primer with my current favorite routine of foundation and powder so that I can tell people, yes, it was that primer or no, it must have been the foundation. Because I used it yesterday and I did it in a get ready with me with a lasting finish from Rimmel. But this is a hydrating formula. So I was like, I don't know if this would be the oil control key because it's actually a hydrating formula. So today I'm gonna to be testing out the Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer Liquid prime this is the primer that i used yesterday with my go-to valentino which isn't the greatest at oil control but it is really beautiful on the skin and then with my chiffon sheet that's what i'm going to test out today i'm going to be doing a full get ready with me and then i'm going to share on my tiktok throughout the day to see if that is the primer that made me so non-oily because you guys know i'm like the greasiest person ever so i'm really interested to see this is the kind of stuff i like to do because it's like it's like ooh. It's like putting something to the test. You know what I mean? Today we're going to be doing that. I'm going to show you guys how I'm prepping my skin as well. And this is how I prepped my skin yesterday also. So a huge shout out to Dime Beauty because they are partnering up with me for a portion of this video. Look how cute this little bag is. Oh my, my light just died. Ugh, you freaking loser. I can never just get through a whole video. Um, anyway, this is a little set that comes in this bag. It's so cute. And I actually have a coupon code for Dime Beauty. It's Sherman20, and I'll put it right down here. It's going to save you guys 20% off, and I have a landing page. So you're going to click on the link that I'll put in the description box, and it's going to take you over to all of the stuff that I talk about from Dime Beauty because I have a couple of different products. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the products that come in that little kit with that bag. They're all skincare products. I have been testing them out for you guys um, before this video so that I could like give you guys an honest like, hey, this is what I feel. Um, and so today I'm just gonna be showing you guys, I'm gonna be walking you through like all of the steps that I do for my skincare to prep my base before I go into my makeup. So a huge thank you to Dime Beauty for partnering up with me for a portion of the video and for that coupon code for you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys find this helpful. I will have everything linked in the description box. And on TikTok, I will be showing you guys how this little combo wears today to test if it is that, in fact the primer that was so good at oil control. So we're gonna see, I'm super excited. Go follow me over there, it's at Sam Sherman. I always post them on my stories as well on Instagram, um, but I'm just Sam Sherman everywhere, so go follow me over there. Okay, okay guys, so today I'm gonna show you how I actually prep my skin. I've been trying out these products for a little while now. First of all, this little set is the absolute cutest. It comes in this gorgeous little bag. Look how fun this bag is. It's like this gorgeous like nude, like, oh. I absolutely love the color. So this is called the Works Travel Set and the, the bag is called Tan. So this is $180. Normally it says it would like retail for $226 and then I have a coupon code which is gonna save you guys 20% off, which is Sherman20, I'll put it right here. So you would get 20% off of this whole kit. So I'm gonna show you what comes inside of the kit and then that way you guys can see exactly what you're getting. Cause these, it's like a travel kit, but like they're actually a really good size. So this is the Dime Mini Gentle Jelly Cleanser and I have been using all of these products to test them out for you guys. So this is a pump top. This is what I used this morning. You guys, I have no moisturizer on. I have nothing on my face whatsoever. I just washed with this this morning. My skin is literally like so smooth. It feels so hydrated. Like it just feels like you wouldn't even need to put moisturizer on if you didn't want to because that's how nice it feels. The next step, which I'm actually going to do on camera for you guys because I didn't do it this morning, um, is the toner. So this is the Dime Mini Super Skin Toner and it looks like this. 
the cleanser removes dirt oil and makeup hydrates and soothes after cleansing softens skin after consistent use protects skin from environmental stress and that's what i've noticed the most is that my skin is literally so soft since i've been using it and then the toner improves concentration of coq10 levels inc helps increase energy production in cells absorbs damage otherwise imparted by oxidizing agents and free radicals rejuvenates and moisturizes the skin nourishes and maintains a healthy ph balance so i'm just going to get my little cotton pads here it's just like your you know like a regular toner so i'm just gonna put a little bit on the cotton pad and i love that the packaging is like glass bottle it all feels like really nice and um like you know snazzy quality like like you're fancy <laughs> that's what it feels like it's really nice so i just take that all down my neck and just like all over my face and i just feel like it just i don't know it's not stripping at all, which I like because, um, oh, my self tanner came off. Oh, this is why my face is always white because I self tan my face and then you're using all your products and like, obviously you, I exfoliate my face more than I do my body. And so then I'm like, cool, my face is white, my body's brown. The next step that I do is the hyper glow and mine's already kind of, I accidentally like didn't tighten it properly. So it kind of got a little bit messy in there, but this is the hyper glow. So this is, oh, it doesn't say what this is. Let me see if I can find it online. The perfect morning serum to give your skin the dewy glow it needs to take on the day ahead. Leave your skin feeling bright, tighter, and more supple with Hyper Glow. This serum contains 15% vitamin C and is supercharged with ferulic acid, sweet orange extract, magnolia bark extract, and grapeseed extract, which help increase free radical fighting ability. This concentrated blend is also enriched with vitamin E, which helps boost natural defense against damaging oxidation caused by pollution, toxin, and other environmental stressors. And these are vegan and cruelty-free. So usually what I do, and I've been using this morning and night, um, is I just go in. Oh, I forgot my acne cream. Oh my God, let me go grab my acne cream. But basically I will put this all over my face and there is no scent. And a lot of vitamin C serums do have like really strong kind of like, I don't want to say foul, but sometimes they are a bit smelly. Um, and I like this one because it doesn't have any scent at all. None of these products are like highly scented. So if you do have sensitive skin like I do, then, um, or sensitive eyes, then nothing's gonna bother you. But it just like, oh, it just feels so good. It goes in, it doesn't feel heavy. Let me go get my acne cream real quick. Okay, so normally I would have put my acne cream down first, but I only put it to my lower face anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, this is just the Obagi Cleanserm. Thank God I went and took a break and then went back on it because my skin has literally been so much better. Like, it's just moving out and up in the world. I just love when my skin is nice. It just makes me feel so much better about my life. <laughs> Do you know what I mean though? It's like when your skin is crap, you're just like so sad. At least I am. Next, I'm gonna take the Dime Beauty and this comes in the kit. This is the Hyaluronic, wait, what's going on here? Next, I'm gonna take the Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Dime. And I love that it's like, they keep it pretty darn simple. It's like toner, cleanser. You know what I mean? You know what you're doing. Like you know all the products. So the Hyaluronic where is it? And again, this is in that kit. Our hyaluronic acid serum helps to instantly quench thirsty skin upon application, boosting bounce, and assisting with delivering intense hydration where it's needed most. Again, vegan and cruelty-free, <clears throat> helps promote hydration, assists in plumping the skin. There's like a little dropper. I just do one dropper, and then I just put that all over my face. It feels really good. And then I usually have to go in for another drop um, just for my neck. And I just take that all the way down. This is the Dime Dewy Day Cream. It's got rosehip and tremella in it. Looks like this. Again, glass bottle, pump top. This is an ultra hydrating dewy day cream, infuses the skin with a multi-layered moisture system containing a powerful blend of moisturizing and antioxidant ingredients to ensure that the skin remains hydrated and balanced. So I just do about four pumps. And again, I moisturize or I rub my hands together. Again, there's not like a, not, nothing is really scented, like, which I think is good. If you have sensitive eyes, if you have sensitive skin, a lot of the time, all those like extra scented things can like really bother me. So for me, it's like I can take this right up underneath my eyes. And I haven't even been using an eye cream 
because I feel like I'm putting so many great products on my face. I'm like, do I really need to? I don't think so. It does also come with a night cream. This is the restorative night cream. It's got ceramide and camellia, camellia, and this comes in the kit as well. Um, this says it's a rich hydrat hydrating cream that dramatically helps to reduce the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and pores so you can wake up to glowing, smooth, supple skin. Plus, ultra mild ingredients that mimic the skin's own structure, working with its natural nighttime renewal process for deeply hydrated, rejuvenated, youthful looking skin. So, obviously, I'm not going to put that on tonight or um, today because it's daytime. This is the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. And I usually do about three pumps of that. This is tinted, so it does give you like a little bit of a just a nice. It's not super tinted, but it just makes your skin look nice. And I take that all the way down my neck. Today I'm actually going on a double date. So Jay and I are going to dinner for my friend's boyfriend's birthday. So I'm just going to consider this as my Valentine's date dinner because my brother's babysitting for us tonight um, with Lindsay. And so like this is our chance to like get out and like have a date. So this is technically my Valentine's Day date. Valentine's Day date dinner. Yeah, but it's a double date. I'm just gonna let that sunscreen kind of like set in. My lip is like really itchy for some reason. This I have been obsessed with. This is the Dime Lovely Dreams Eau de Toilette. This is their perfume. And you guys, I am obsessed. Let me just pull up the notes. And on the link that I'm gonna leave a link in the description box, it's gonna take you to, to a landing page with all of the products that I, um, that I'm talking about today. This is $48 and this is a 1.7 ounce. This perfume is made only from clean ingredients and contains organic sugarcane alcohol in place of commonly used SD40, which has been shown to be aggressive on the skin. Our cruelty-free and vegan perfumes are comprised of naturally derived and safe synthetic, synthetic I can't talk, safe synthetic ingredients. It's a floral citrus scent. It's peach nectar, creamy coconut, apple, white lily, Freesia, Jasmine, Rose, Vanilla Bean, Blonde Woods, Soft Musks, Tonka Bean. It embodies the essence of playful, spunky, and sexy. It smells amazing. It smells so good. To me, I get like a very, oh, so good. It's like very sweet. Yeah, to me, it's like really like vanilla-y, like very sweet. But maybe like with a hint of like a juiciness to it like not it's not overly juicy or fruity to me it smells more sweet than fruity but there is like a hint of like a did it say pear oh peach maybe it's the peach i'm smelling it's kind of like a crisp kind of fruity scent but it's very sweet and it's so yummy and i just absolutely love the way it smells so i've been wearing that a ton so all of those little skincare products come in this little kit again it's so cute it says dime right there it's got your little zips on both sides. So one side is like, you know, one side is clear see-through and then one side is not. Um, and it's so cute for traveling. I actually love the little bag, but you can get that for 180 and then you can get 20% off if you use code Sherman20. So a huge thank you to Dime for partnering up with me for this portion of the video. Um, like I said, I've been trying these out. I've really been loving them. I've been very happy. My skin just feels really hydrated and really soft is what I could say. Like that's what I've noticed is that it just feels like very, very soft. Um, okay, so now we're going to move on to makeup. So because I'm going on my date night tonight, I actually have a lot of things to do. Um, my day is very hectic, and of course, it's a short day for my kids. So I've got to pick them up earlier than I normally would. And then Phoenix has, like, got no clothes that fit him anymore. He's growing so fast. He's literally, like, almost my height. I think he's, like, like an inch shorter than me. And he's just like outgrown all of his clothes. So I need to go get him clothes because this morning was a bit of a meltdown situation because he couldn't find anything to wear and I have to do laundry and nothing fits him. So um, I want my makeup to like really last all day because I'm getting ready now to be able to go out tonight at 7.30 for dinner. So it's gonna be a very long day and right now it is, I actually don't know what time it is. It's 10 o'clock because he, or Jay forgot his lunch for work, so I had to go take him his lunch and all the things. So anyway, yesterday I tested this out with a new foundation, but I don't know, was it the primer that was amazing? Was it the foundation Was it that was amazing? Was it the powder? Because I test out all new products. So today I'm going to be testing out this primer with my normal routine of foundation and powder so that I can test on TikTok 
if it was the primer or was it that foundation that lasted so well. So this is the Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer Liquid. And this is new to Wet n Wild. It's super cute. It's a very liquidy formula. It feels like you're like a typical essence toner, but it's supposed to smooth, condition, refine pores, balance, and prolong makeup. It's got calendula and rose water. So basically what I did yesterday was I just kind of like put like, you know, that much into my hands and I put it all over my face. And it does say to let it sit for 60 seconds before you put your foundation on. Part of me is wondering if it's kind of like a Milk of Magnesia type situation because it does get sticky really fast. And it says that you have to wait for it to dry. So I just kind of like, you know, waft my face and like really let it like sit in. I can't say that I, I don't know. I felt like my skin looked so blurred out yesterday when I was looking back at my video. I was like... It literally looks like I have like Facetune, like my skin was so blurred. So, and that's what it says. It's supposed to smooth and refine pores. So I am super impressed. I mean, yesterday, I don't know what was happening, but the combo that I used was great. Um, but I really want to sit, oh, I was supposed to shake it. Did I shake it first? Crap, I can't remember if I shook it or not. Do I apply a little bit more now that it's shaken? Maybe there's like powders in there or something. I mean, it doesn't look like there is. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more just because now I didn't shake it and I wanna make sure that I'm really doing what I was supposed to do. So for foundation today, because I wanna test out this primer with my typical like routine that I love, we're gonna go in with the Very Valentino. I'm actually a little bit concerned it's a little light for me at the moment, but hopefully it'll be okay because I just self tanned and I used a new one and it got me like really dark. So yay for that. Ooh, yeah, I am feeling like this is drying on my hands. The primer. I'm going to go wash my hands real fast because it feels like... Do you guys hear that? It feels almost like powdery. We're going to go in with foundation, but I'm going to go in with my new sponge. I got this in a little trio from e.l.f. It comes with three little sponges, but this one is so big and fabulous, so I'm kind of obsessed. And it's the cutest color ever. So this is the color MN3. Like I said, I'm a little tan right now, so. Well, I think we're gonna make it work. Okay, it's a little bit light, but I think it's gonna be fine. I just love the smell of this Valentino foundation. It's so good. I don't know what it is about this primer, but I feel like it really does smooth your base. Like it's such a good base and it's so affordable. And I didn't break out or anything, which is always nice. We're gonna do my normal concealer that I always do. Oh, look at the squish. Looking like a little tiny baby fox. Today I saw a dog chasing a coyote up the road. They were so fast. It was like one minute they were there and the next minute they were gone. It was insane. Okay, then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. light peach right in the middle. Oh, I just ran up the stairs and I'm <laughs> puffed out. Um, where's the fender? Okay, so we're just gonna blend that out. So today, I have a very busy day. But I swear I should have planned my week better because I totally forgot that the kids had a short day. So I gotta film this video. I gotta film my Express try on. I got some super cute things. Oh, I should not have ran. Um, some super cute things from Express for Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna be doing a try on for you guys. So I'm gonna film that today. I've gotta go pick up the kids, then drive to Reno so that I can get some clothes for Phoenix. Cause I keep promising to get him some clothes and then my days just get so busy that um, it doesn't happen. So he was like really a really frustrated fellow today. We're gonna go to the mall. I'm gonna try maybe like Tilly's. I think I'm just gonna start shopping in the men's section for him because he's like, I've been buying him kids clothes and they just, I don't know if they shrink or what because I always buy him stuff from Abercrombie but then I'm like, all these t-shirts don't fit him anymore and like they shrink up and like he's got a really long torso so then it like just doesn't work. So, I think um, I'm just gonna start buying him men's and then maybe they'll be a little bit longer. Like if I just get like a men's small, maybe that will work. Cause I'm like, I feel bad for the kid. I get it. Like when your clothes don't fit, it is frustrating. And he was super frustrated this morning. He's like, mom, 
you said you were gonna get me clothes and you didn't. I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm trying to juggle everything. It's just so hard. So I think today, but I'm like, I don't wanna just order it online because then this is what happens. I order stuff online all the time and then it ends up not fitting and then I forget to return it and then I just have all these clothes that like don't fit. I gotta go return some stuff that I got for Jay that he doesn't like. It's like so hard shopping for all these people. I got some really cute stuff for Jay and he's like, I'm not gonna wear that. And I was like, oh, okay then. So I gotta go return that and then I have like a couple of things that I need to return at Sephora that I ordered that I didn't like. I gotta get more stuff for smoothies because I swear we go through bananas and fruit so fast. And then that was the Laura Mercier Celestial Light. I actually really liked this bronzer that I got yesterday, so I'm gonna just use that today. This is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in 022 Sun Bronze. I feel like it's a good color. Um, so then I gotta rush back, change, and then figure out if my brother is gonna come to our house or if we're gonna take the kids to their house and then get myself all cutesied for our dinner date. So we're going to sushi. I'm not a fan of sushi, I hate fish. I hate, I'm sorry, I should rephrase. I hate raw fish. I just really don't like things that are really fishy. You know what I do love though? Trader Joe's has this rainbow trout. It's like smoked. It's like already cooked. Oh my God, I had it yesterday for lunch. It was like literally so delicious. I was like, wow, why have I not had this in my life before? It reminds me so much of smoked haddock because I used to have that a lot in England. Like you cook it in milk and it's just so yum, but it's really hard to find smoked haddock here. So I got the rainbow trout, not thinking it was gonna be anything like it, and it ends up that it's literally exactly the same. It's so yummy, it doesn't smell fishy, it doesn't taste fishy, it just has this like really good smoked flavor. So if you guys have a Trader Joe's, definitely check out this, the rainbow trout. It is so good, but it's like pre-cooked, so you can just eat it. So I just had it yesterday, I, I ate that, and then I just had applesauce, and it was so yummy. I haven't been eating the best. My stomach is getting a bit fat and I have to do a try on today and it's just like, ugh. I keep on saying my stomach's bloated, but I feel like I'm actually just, a <laughs> I might be past the point of blow. I think it's just fat at this point. So I'm like freaking life. I'm not feeling my greatest body wise, but it's a hard life guys. Sometimes it just happens to us. There are moments in our life where we gain weight and there are moments in our life where we lose weight. What can you do, eh? I've just given up at this point. So long are the days of flat stomachs and fabulous arms. You know how they say like comparison is the thief of joy? Comparison to yourself is a thief of joy. I don't ever really get sad when I'm comparing myself to others. It's when I compare myself to what I didn't know I, I was before. Like when I look at my body when I was young, I'm like, I know I've been there before. And that's when it makes me sad. Cause I'm like, I've literally been there. My body has looked like that. And it's no longer that way. And like, I know that I was young and stuff and like I had no kids. And so I was like, my whole life revolved around me, but still, I just want my abs. My stomach was just so beautiful. Like I never had to worry about my tummy. I've never had a, I've never had a tummy. Like it's not ever been a problem area for me. I've always had like thicker legs and a thicker bum. But my arms and tummy like have never really been a problem area. <sighs> but then you're almost 38 and it just seems to be a problem. So that, I think I actually just do need a squidge bit of the MAC. I just need to chisel them out a weeny bit. So this is the dark deep. There we go. I just needed to darken that up just a little. I'm just gonna go in with the MAC into the pink extra dimension. It's like a really pretty like cool toned pink. I always like to put the cool tones down first and then finish off with like a warmer one. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. That is looking real nice. It's like glows up the face, it's so pretty. Let me just put all of these skincare things away because right now I've got a huge mess going on. Literally so cute. I just love that, it's such a good size too. I'm just gonna go in with my Givenchy, the number three rose. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and bake like I normally do because someone asked me on TikTok is this is this primer better than L'Oreal 24 hour matte setter? Cause that's my favorite at the moment. But I'm like, I don't actually know. I can't tell because I was using so many different products that I don't actually know. You know what I mean? Like I can't give an honest answer cause I don't know. So that's why I thought if I test it out today with my go-to stuff, then I'll be able to tell people if it was the primer or if it was the combo of the foundation and the powder that I used before. So that's the problem when you're using so many new products. It's like, which one was the one that was so great? I don't know. Or was it just that it was a combo altogether that was great? So that's why I thought today I'll test out this primer. We'll see. But I will say it definitely had like a powdery feel on my hands. And it's so funny because yesterday when I did my makeup, which you guys will have already seen at this point, I think. Um, remember how I was like, my skin feels really dry and it's actually starting to feel dry now that I'm powdering again. And this is a completely different powder and a different foundation. So I feel like it must be that primer. It's like that primer is like very, very good at oil control because I'm definitely feeling like I could use a little hyaluronic acid spray at the moment. It's so pretty out today. It's like so sunny, so beautiful. I just love a good sunny day. I feel like the sun just makes me feel so much better. Like I really don't like it when it's not sunny. Like it's cute when it's like snowing and it's cozy, but when it's just like an overcast day, I feel like it just like bums me out. Like I just need sun in my life. I just like the way it looks. Just so bright and cheery. Okay, we've got the powder. I'm feeling dry. I'm feeling real dry. You know what's so funny? It's like I've never really felt dry in my life. Um, It's such a weird feeling. So I can understand why people are like, oh, I'd love to have oily skin. Cause like honestly feeling dry does feel tight and kind of, you know. We're moving on to lips. So today I think I'm gonna go in with my MAC Boldly Bare because I really do love this color. It's just such a good peachy color, you know? I just love it. And I just overline the middle section and then I just follow my natural lip. I was gonna say my natural nip line. <laughs> my natural lip line. Actually, speaking of nipples. I've seen these people that like do uh, nipple tattoos for people who have had lifts or like uh, mastectomies where they don't have nipples anymore and they like tattoo a nipple on. I also do it for people who have had breast lifts like me who like obviously they take your whole nipple off so then you have this like white ring around your nipple and it's just literally so ugly. I hate it so much. It makes me so sad. Um, and so I was like, oh my gosh, like that would be actually so good. Which lipstick do I want today? I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do MAC Myth. Anyway, I was like, oh, that would be really good to do. You know what I mean? Like, if I just got around the, like where the white part is, or I just got that tattooed to be like the color of my nipple, it wouldn't look so like, unattached <laughs> I don't know it, it hurt though I feel like that would be a really like sensitive area to tattoo but then part of me is like maybe I should just wait because like I really don't like the way my boobs turned out like I'm very unhappy with them um and part of me is like I feel like I just need to like go and get another surgery to like fix them because I've just they did not it, it was not the vibe. It did not, like what, what I said I wanted versus what happened is definitely not what happened. I eventually, oh, do I want a little pinky? I think I do. Eventually I would like to go and like go to someone else and get a different, get another surgery to fix them because I just am not happy with them. But obviously like I saved up a ton of money for that surgery. It was expensive. And so now I have to like re-save up because for me, it's like, if you go to someone 
and they don't do what you want. If you go get your hair done and they jack up your hair the first time, you're not gonna go back to them to get it fixed, are you? No, you're not, you're gonna find someone else. And so that is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna go back to someone who I'm not happy with the results because that just wouldn't make any sense. I've already spent a ton of money, so I'm not gonna like go back when I've already like, I'm not happy with the results. Ooh, that's so pretty. That's the Watermelon Awake lip mask. Um, so now I gotta re-safe up my money and then I'll be out twice as much as what I are, I'm already out because I've already freaking paid for it. And you know what's amazing about plastic surgeons? You sign something so that it covers their butts so that if you're not happy, they can offer to redo the surgery for you, but you cannot get a refund. So I'm basically just screwed. But like I said, if I'm not happy the first time, I'm not gonna go back a second time. Do you know what I mean? So, it's just a huge bummer. Like I'm so, I've been really, really bummed out about it. And um, so now I've got her like resave up. So probably in a couple years, I'll go and get them fixed to get what I actually wanted because like I didn't even get the size that I had agreed on like I had said that I wanted 350 cc's and I have 255 cc's so I didn't even get the implant size that I wanted which is just like so frustrating because that's what I paid for you live and you learn I guess I don't really know what the lesson is with that one <laughs> This life, I tell you, sometimes I just get so frustrated because it's annoying when you've spent that much money. You know what I mean? Like it really, really irritates me when you've spent thousands and thousands of dollars after saving up for years for a surgery that you've wanted because your boobs were like so saggy. I mean, I breastfed for such a long time that my boobs were like so saggy and I had terrible back pain and I was just miserable. So it wasn't just like a um, a vanity thing. I mean, obviously my boobs were super saggy and it wasn't cute, but they were so huge. Like they were just so big that I really just wanted them smaller, but I didn't want them like super small. And so that's why we were like, okay, well let's just go in with like a three, 350 implant. And then, cause I said like, I wanted them to look like nice and round and like perky and delicious. And like, literally I have no volume at the top. There's no volume up here whatsoever. It's just boob at the bottom and they look so real, which some people like, but I didn't pay money for my boobs to look real. They looked real before. I wanted them to look fake. So that's why it's so frustrating is because like I literally, what I asked for versus what I got is completely different. What I will say, is I don't have back pain anymore, which was like one of the biggest reasons that I did the surgery in the beginning. So I can't like be super sad because like I did achieve that. Like I don't have back pain. I feel a lot better physically, but I am so scarred. And because I had all those infections from the sutures, my, cause my body, um, it rejected the sutures. So instead of just scarring up like you normally would, I've got literally like, because I had all these infections where it was eating up my skin from like the inside out, my scar that should just be like a little thing is now like this massive area of like scar tissue. And it's so ugly and I hate it so much. My, my boobs look like Frankenstein. Like they really do. And I'm not being dramatic. Like they actually do. They're so bad. And I've been trying like all of these like scar creams and all of these products to try and like make them look better but they just don't like even with self tanner like you can see them so bad they're just like not cute at all and it's like a bummer you know what i mean especially when you pay money thinking that your boobs are going to come out looking better than they did before and honestly like they do not because now they're all scarred up and jacked up and uneven my ni one nipple's like super high one super low One's bigger than the other. It's just like really frustrating because like it's your body and it's obviously like, I mean, luckily no one's seeing them but Jay and I. Thank God. 
If I was single right now, I'd be so depressed. <laughs> if I had to show my boobs to someone, I would be like, oh God, please don't look. I'm just always gonna keep a bra on. Like, and that shouldn't be the way. When you get a breast, like when you go and like get a surgery to make yourself feel better, you shouldn't feel worse than you did before. Before it was just like, oh yeah, they're saggy because I've had kids. Whereas now they're just like deformed and freaking hideous. I can't remember who told me, but someone was like, you should just go on botched. And I was like, I'm super tempted to. However, then the whole world would see my boobs. And I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Unless I'm getting paid a lot of money. <laughs> Let's be honest. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It's just a freaking bummer. So now I just got to re-safe up for another surgery. Ugh. The, the recovery was so hard of this surgery on me. It like literally took me eight whole months to feel better, to feel like back to normal. Like it was such a long recovery. I just like felt so bad for so long. I like had no energy. Like I couldn't do the like the simplest tasks. And then because my body was like always in like recovery mode of trying to like fight all the infections. And I was on like so many rounds of antibiotics and it was just like such an ordeal. It was like so much more than I expected. So now I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that again. But then I'm like, I also hate my boobs. So it's like a real freaking situation. And um, I don't even like the shape of my boobs. It would be one thing if I had like super perky boobs and they were like looking bomb, like shape wise. And then I had some scars. I think I wouldn't be as sad. But the fact that I hate the way they are, like I hate the shape of them. And I have scars that are horrible. It just makes the whole situation just really crappy for me because I'm just like, cool, I literally hate every, there's not one. The only thing I like about them is that they're smaller and my back doesn't hurt. That's the only thing that I like about them, which is like, I just spent like however much I spent over 10 grand to like the fact that they're smaller. I mean, at the end of the day, Jay always tries to make me feel better about it. He's like, at the end of the day, you were in pain, like you physically were in a lot of pain from your back. And the whole reason you did the surgery in the beginning was to get rid of your back pain. And he's like, and you did achieve that. So like, that's really good. You know, it could be the fact where you still are in pain and you hate them. He's like, at least you hate them. You hate the way they look, but like physically you feel better. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's a good way to look at it. He always like tries to make me feel better about it. And like, obviously he's always like, I think they look great. I think they're gorgeous. But I'm like, you would say that you're my husband. You can't exactly be like, dude, they're ugly. You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine if he actually said that? He probably does think that, but he would never say it because that would really hurt my feelings. Cause like, I already think they're ugly. So then if he was like, yeah, they are ugly. Then I'd be like, oh, my freaking life. Sorry, I'm just taking this color, this color. I'm just doing my like normal. I'm just doing my favorite makeup today. For a date so we're gonna go a little smoky um but yeah i don't know it just like sucks i'm sure you guys understand we all have things we don't like about ourselves but when you've paid a bunch of money to like make them better and then they're worse it's just super frustrating and then when you like try to like because i i obviously like asked for a refund because i was like i'm really not happy like i hate them <laughs> basically um and they're like well Basically, like, we can redo them for you, but you can't get a refund. And then you'd have to pay for the anesthesiologist again. I'm like, so I'd have to pay even more money and then possibly hate them more and then have all those infections all over again? Like, I don't really know if that sounds like something I want to do, you know? Like, it's just so frustrating. I've just been, like, so frustrated ever since I had that surgery. It just feel like it's just been so annoying because I was like, oh, they're going to get better. They're going to get better. They're going to get better. And I was like so positive about it in the beginning. And I was like super pumped. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be great. And then I just like saw how they were healing. And I was like, this is not what I expected at all. Like I've seen breast lift scars. They do not look like mine. And I would love to say I'm being dramatic, but I'm not, unfortunately.
because like I had a realistic expectation of like what to expect for scar like I knew I was going to be scarred and I was like okay well I'm fine with that you know like I had a I had an idea because I'd obviously done a ton of research and like looked up like what they look like but um I, di I didn't know I was gonna have like so many infections from the because my body rejected the sutures the inside sutures so I didn't know that was going to happen and there's only so much you can do like I immediately would like go in and like get on antibiotics and like do everything I was supposed to do to like take care of them but they just because they like ate up at the skin they just left me like so scarred and it just like freaking I swear if something crap's gonna happen it's gonna happen to me do you know what I mean I know that's a really negative like mindset to like have but I swear that is what happens <laughs> It's just so annoying i'm like why can't i just freaking have some cute boobs like is it that hard I had amazing boobs my boobs were so bomb and like i went to the same doctor that's why i went back because my boobs were so fabulous the first time around like they were the most beautiful things ever like i totally could have posed topless that's how good they were they were literally perfect like they were the most beautiful things i'd ever seen and so that's why i went back because i was like oh my god yeah like if they do it right the first time then you go back and then you go back the second time and then you're like what happened here so that's why i'm not gonna go back a third time i don't know what happened there you know is it the surgeon's fault if i get a, a reaction to the sutures i don't think so because that's why the scars are so bad but also like my my nipples are different sizes and they're in different places and i didn't get the size i paid for so that's not my fault the suture, my body, my, my body reacting to the sutures, maybe it's my fault. I don't know. I mean, that's just my body. I can't really help that. You know what I mean? But like, am I smoky enough? Yeah. The fact that I didn't get the size I paid for and the fact that my nipples are completely like different sizes and different locations, that's not my fault. So I don't know. I'm just like so frustrated with the whole situation. I go through like spurts where like I'm feeling good and I'm like, yeah, they're fine. Like my boobs don't hurt anymore. They're smaller, like cool, whatevs. And then like I get out of the shower and I look at them and I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm actually not fine. I'm just taking this color smile from that same Fulfilled palette and I'm just like pressing it on. It's not so pretty. It's like so sparkly and fabulous. Oh my God, I love it so much. Sorry, I feel like I'm a downer. I feel like I'm a real loser downer today. I just like I'm so frustrated with the whole situation. Like I just wish that my boobs were cute. This is the LA Girl super bright i am obsessed with this it's just so good it's the best it like literally stays all day long like at nighttime go check my tiktoks at nighttime 12 hours later it's still super bright and white in there it's so amazing but it's like a nude color it's not white and then i'm gonna take my long comb seals booster xl and my hypnos drama let me know if that happened to any of you guys if you guys had a breast lift and then you had that same problem where you your body rejected the sutures they said it was like a 10 percent like of people that ha have it happened to i'm like that's me i'm the 10 percent cool like i just get so annoyed it's so hard not to like get down about it you know i think as, as well like when you've had amazing boobs and then you have kids and they jack them up and then you're like saving up for so long and then you're so pumped to like get them fixed and you're like oh my boobs are gonna look so delicious again and then they don't you're like why i know what it's like to have amazing boobs i just want to be back there again i mean the nice thing is like nothing is permanent like i can probably go and get it fixed you know like i can just find a different surgeon and i can say like this is what i'm looking for i want my boobs to look round and perky and delicious. I wanna look like my boobs are young. They don't need to look like a 40 year old boob. So I know that I can do it. It's just a matter of like, you know, saving up and the time that it takes to do that and then having to like recover again and everything and hoping that my body doesn't reject the sutures. Cause now I'm like, God, like, was it just that specific brand? Was it just in general? Was it like, I don't know why it did that. You know what I mean? So I'm like, will that happen again? Will I be scarred even worse? It's like, I don't know. Like sometimes it's like playing with fire. Like, do I risk it and get another surgery hoping it'll look better and then it looks worse? Cause that's what basically happened this last time is that I got the surgery thinking my boobs will look better and they look worse than they did before. 
but they do feel better. Like physically I feel better. My back is fine. So it's worth it for that. And that's just cause, like when I'm trying to be positive about it, I just have to be like, they look cute in clothes. They don't go into my armpits when I lie down on my, f on my back. Cause before they would like fold in half. It was like really weird. Like they would, f I would, when if I lie down on my back, they would like fold in half and there'd be all this like weird skin. And now they don't do that, which is good. So there are some benefits, like there are some pros when I'm trying to be positive. But then when I'm negative, I'm like, I'm just focusing on like what they look like. And I'm like, so angry. Things could always be worse. That's the beauty of life. It could always be worse. I could have things missing, you know what I mean? Like there, there's so much more things that could happen that could be worse than this, but it doesn't mean that like what you're feeling doesn't like count. You know, you can still be sad about things and know that like you're still very like lucky. Like I'm lucky that I still have boobs <laughs> and that I haven't had any, you know, cancer or anything. So it could be, it definitely could be worse. But I feel like it's sometimes it's hard when you're like trying to like just say like, hey, I'm kind of bummed out about this. And then people are like, well, you could be do do do. And you're like, yeah, but I'm still sad about what I'm what I'm going through. Like just because it's not as bad as other people have it doesn't mean it doesn't count. And you can't like your feelings aren't validated. So I try to like be positive and like have a spin, a good spin on it. And be like, don't be a negative Nancy. But um, sometimes I just feel a bit sad about it. I also feel like I need a little bit more color in my forehead. I'm just looking a little bit pale. I'm just gonna kind of darken it up with the MAC just a little tiny bit. Just around the edges here. Yes. Yes, that's better. I feel like that just makes all the difference. That little inner corner highlight, like it's seriously so amazing what it does. I forgot to do it yesterday and I felt like my eyes looked so far apart. It was so weird. We're gonna take Ben Nye Super White. We're just gonna pop that underneath here. Blend that all in. So anyway, we're going to sushi tonight with my friend for her boyfriend's birthday. And I feel like I need to ask her like what he would want for his birthday. I know that we're going to dinner, but I can't like show up to someone's birthday dinner without a present. Like that would make me feel very weird. Like I couldn't do that. So I don't know what to get for a man that I don't know as well. I don't even know what to get for Jay and I know him. So I might just ask her like, hey, is there something he's wanting or does he need something so that I can get something while I'm at the mall today? Maybe just like some like, I don't know. I don't have no idea. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with just my good old just favorite Sephora number 29 fascinated. Apparently this is sold out. I'm so sad for everyone because it's so good. I'm really hoping that they'll come back with it because it's honestly the best. Like there is no blush better than this. I love it so much. It's my absolute favorite like go-to. But anyway, we're going to sushi and I don't like sushi. I think that's where I was going with something and then I got distracted. So I think I'm just gonna order like teriyaki. Oh no, I can't have chicken. Chicken upsets my stomach really bad. I just have like the worst tummy. So I think I might just do something like rice and soy sauce and edamame and that'll be fine and that'll be yum. Okay, that's looking so cute. Put a little bit up here, a little bit on the nose. And then I always like to go back and just like fix the highlight in case it got taken off. And then we do the Joa because the Joa is the best. And I just go back in like this. And I put it up here, and up here, and down here, and down here. I am just gonna go, I might spray my glitter spray later on tonight, like when I get re-ready. But I'm just gonna take that Joa just on my chest, so I'm just like a little bit sparkly. Uh. We are sparkly. Okay then, I think I'm gonna mix the Dime with Hugo Boss today. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of the Hugo Boss as well. This is the deep red, I love this one. This is like one of my favorites for like dates. Oh, it just smells so good. That mixture together smells really yummy. 
I just realized I never did my wing. Oh, I was looking at my eyes. I'm like, why do I look so weird? Oh my God, that is so funny. I totally spaced it. Okay, I do have to add a little bit of a wing because I feel a little bit weird right now. Oh my God, that is so funny. I completely forgot it. I'm like, why do I look so weird? There we go. Oh my God, that's so funny. I was like so busy talking about my miserable life. <laughs> I forgot my wing. What's everyone's thoughts on The Bachelor? That's what I'd like to know. Um, my sister said that Zach is a little boring. We're only on the first night. So I haven't gotten that far in. I don't know, I feel like the girls are gonna be major drama, but I can kind of see what she's talking about. Like I do feel like he is a little bit dull. I don't know, we'll have to see. I haven't quite decided on that situation yet because I literally only watched the first one of the first night. What's everyone's thoughts? I mean, I think he's a very nice guy. He's very sweet. Like he seems just like a good person, like comes from a good family, sweet guy, like just definitely in it for the right reasons. My face is feeling tight again. I definitely think it is this primer, you guys. So I'm just gonna use the ColourPop Hyaluronic. I'm definitely focusing it like on the lower face because my face just feels like so dry. I definitely, it's gotta be this primer. I think that's the oil control key because I never normally spray anymore, like with my other stuff because I never feel like I really need to. And I tried a different foundation and a different powder today with the same primer. So I think it's gotta be the primer. Once I sprayed spray yesterday, I felt fine. Like my face didn't feel dry anymore, but until I sprayed the spray, my face was super dry. Like it just felt a little tight. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of the gummy bear lip mask, just because I feel like it would just make it just extra fab. Oh. See how much more glossy that is? That is great. That's so much better. That little combo is so good. I'm gonna say if you have dry skin, probably don't go with that primer because like I never feel dry ever. The only time I felt dry was after my vampire facial, but that's like because that's just what happens. Let's take out the little clippies here. Luckily, it kept the curl from yesterday really super duper well. Look at that, looks like I just freshly curled it. I've been trying, I've been testing out this new iron. Um, it's freaking insane. Like the body that it gives you is crazy. And like I slept with my hair in a satin ponytail last night. And like, it looks like I just curled it this morning, but I haven't, it's a second day hair. How crazy is that? So I'm in a bit of a bummer mood. I don't even know how I got on that subject. I think I was just explaining it and then I started getting angry about it and then it put me in a mood. Oh, this is what happens. Like when I don't think about it, I'm fine. But then when I like focus on it, then I get really sad about it and it just like puts me in such a mood because I'm like, I spent so much money and it's freaking so irritating. It's the fact that I spent money. Do you know what I mean? I think that's what irritates me the most is that, and it wasn't like I was just like, oh here, like I saved up for that surgery. I saved up. It wasn't like I just had it laying around, like I saved up for it. And it took me a long time to save up for it. And um, it also took me a really long time to recover from it. And I feel like that's what makes me so annoyed is that I'm so unhappy with my results. And it like, it it was such an ordeal to get it. <laughs> like, it wasn't like I just had like 13 grand lying around to just spend on my boobs, you know? Like I, I specifically like had put money away for that surgery. So it just like, an, it just annoys me when I start like getting in my head about it and then I just get in a mood and now I'm in a mood, but I need to get into a better mood because I need to film my express video. I need to get over myself. I need to just realize there are worse things that could be happening. I'm lucky, I'm alive, I'm healthy. I have beautiful children. I have a lovely husband. I have lovely little pets. Like there's so many good things in the world. Like I do not need to focus on a wonky nipple. You know, I really don't, but I think you guys understand as women, like we just pick ourselves apart and we focus, sometimes we can tend to focus on the things that we don't like and then it just like can, sometimes it can bum you out. So sorry I was a bit of a downer. Ugh, I need to go eat something. Maybe if I eat some fish, I'll feel better. Cause that rainbow trout, actually that sounds really good right now. What time is it? Is it too early for rainbow trout? It's 11 o'clock. 
I don't think it's ever too early for fishy. People eat fish for breakfast. I'm gonna do it because that fish was so delicious. Anyway, there's the makeup. I'm gonna be doing a wear test today on my TikTok. We're gonna find out is the primer the culprit for the oil control? I have a feeling it is. I'm excited. Go follow my TikTok so we can test it out and see.